Hello lovely people, welcome to today's video on a very insightful information on Ghana's ever-growing development. My name is Andy and today I'll be hitting you with a much anticipated project that is the construction of Ghana's nuclear plant which many thought was a pipe dream but now the commencement date has been announced to the entire populace of Ghana with further works going into the construction phase. After more than 60 years of independence, countless studies and decades of quiet preparation, the country of Ghana is finally ready to embark on such a massive project. Project. The groundbreaking ceremony for this nuclear plant project is even closer than we realized. So today, stick with me till the very end as I'll be giving you the information on Ghana's nuclear journey and all that it pertains. But before we get into this video, I'd like to bring an opportunity to my viewers who are in Canada, the US, UK, and Euro. Lemfa is the app that helps you send money from those countries straight to Ghana free of charge with no transaction fees. And it even gets better when you use my promo code INSIGHTS. Lemfa has decided to give you 1% of your money back on every transaction, 50 euro, pounds, Canadian dollars or dollars, anything equal to 50 or above. Just use my promo code INSIGHTS, pay it with Lemfa. It's almost like they are giving out free money so be sure to get yours. Send money to your families back home and get some of your money back just by using my promo code INSIGHTS when you download Lemfi. So let's dive straight back to this video because since the early 1960s when Kwame Nkrumah first dream of an atomic future powered by the Volta, Ghana has carried this vision of a nuclear energy in our hearts. The country Ghana trained some of the finest nuclear physicists in the Soviet Union, the United States and Europe. Also going further to build a Ghana Atomic Energy Commission showing that we never gave up the dream on building a nuclear plant, Ghana waited for the right leadership, the right technology and the right moment to land the project. That moment is now 2025 and the countdown begins. The government finally announced that the very first nuclear power plant project will be commencing in 2027, giving a definite timeline for the commencement of this project. This construction project will be very vast, providing employment for a whole host of people here in Ghana. Two fully vetted sites, one in the western region and one in the central region, have also been logged in. One will host a large conventional nuclear reactor capable of producing over 1,000 megawatts. The second will be home to a cutting-edge small modular reactor nestled inside an industrial park. This two-pronged strategy is nothing short of genius and I'll tell you exactly why it is when we go deeper. Look at the current energy mix in Ghana and tell me it doesn't keep you up at night sometimes. We have the Akutobo and Bui which are magnificent but climate change is making rainfall unpredictable. Thermal plants are however more reliable until gas prices, skyrockets, or pipelines face issues. Solar and wind are fast growing as well, but they can't provide the constant baseline power that modern industries demand 24-7. The nuclear power solves all that in just one stroke. We are talking about fuel that lasts 18 to 24 months before refueling, 93% to 95% capacity factor, and carbon emissions so low that they are practically zero. One large reactor can power the entire greater Accra region and even beyond with clean electricity for 60 to 80 years. That's not fabricated, that's fact. Three generations of stable power for a single investment. This is how nations become middle income and then high income. South Korea did it. The United Arab Emirates also did it in just 10 years. Ghana is next on that list and I can see it happening because of this announcement showing that the country is ready to embark on such a venture. Site 1, which is in western region, will be the big beast, a generation 3 plus reactor with the latest passive safety systems that can shut themselves down even if every human disappears from the control room. We are talking about Korean APR 1004. 400, Russian Vives or the Chinese Walong One design, all incredibly safe. For those who think it's not, it is highly safe and are all on the table to pick from. This plant alone will add more than 1,200 megawatts of clean power to the grid by early 2030s. The second site, which was announced to be in the central region's industrial enclave, is where the future lives. A small modular reactor, possibly from new scale, G Hitachi or Rolls Royce, factory built, truck delivered, and assembled like Lego. These small modular reactors are walk away safe, producing 50 to 300 megawatts each and can be scaled up by adding more units later. Placing it inside an industrial zone means bauxite refineries, cement factories, data centers and green hydrogen plants will have dedicated ultra cheap zero carbon electricity right next door. Export earnings will explode in Ghana. That's to tell you that once the country engages in this project, we are going to see a total change in how the economy is run. And when it's successful, 
the benefits are unimaginable. 2027 feels like just next year as we are at the end of 2025, meaning almost at the commencement of 2026. Also, the land acquisition processes have already been initiated with the traditional authorities and local communities fully engaged. Detailed geophysical and seismic studies are either completed or in their final phases and the nuclear plant institution at Kwabinya is as well training the first batch of Ghanaian reactor operators who will be returning home as heroes by 2027. The vendor countries have already submitted their best and final offers. Negotiations are in their advanced stages. Also, the independent nuclear regulatory authority is being upgraded to full international standard with the support of the IAEI and the friendly nations. Environment impact assessments are being conducted with transparency that will make even the harshest critics proud. Every box is ticked and Ghana is ready, having announced that the nuclear plant project will be commencing in 2027. While we celebrate the nuclear future, Let's salute the present revolution happening in our villages. The ministry has put every district on notice. The next 6 to 12 months will see the most aggressive rural electrification push in the history of Ghana. Thousands of kilometers of medium and low voltage lines are being strung. Solar battery mini grids are popping up in off grid communities. Transformer upgrades are happening overnight. And the target is bold 90% of national electrification coverage very soon. And the momentum is unstoppable. When the nuclear power finally kicks in, Flowing in the 2030s, reaching 100% will be child's play. We are to give accolades to the current government as they are pushing for the full electrification of Ghana. Imagine a Ghana where there are no power outages, where industries are running full on with electric vehicles humming in Ghana. It will be something which is breathtaking. Yes, the full energy transition to 2070 has a cost at approximately $562 billion. The number shocked some people when it first came out. But let me break it down. It's roughly 12 to 13 billion per year for 45 years. With nuclear as the backbone, the return on investment is astronomical. Cheaper electricity equal to lower production cost, which is equal to more competitive exports, creating millions of new jobs, higher tax revenue, money to build schools, hospitals and highways, and the benefits goes on and on. So when the country invests such an amount, we are going to see clear signs of benefits being reaped by the nation. In the 1960s, the grandparents of the current generation built Akosombo and changed Ghana forever. In the 2020s and 2030s, the country is building nuclear plants that will do the same, only bigger, cleaner and for a longer period of time. 2027 is when the first shovel will be hitting the ground. Mark it on your calendars. Inform others of the government's dedication to make nuclear power accessible for Ghanaians. What are your thoughts on Ghana giving a definite timeline of when Ghana's first ever nuclear plants project will be commencing? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Also, smash the like button as it helps inform others and type Ghana Go Nuclear 2027 in the comments. Let me feel your presence right in the comments. Subscribe to this channel, turn on the post notification bell so you do not miss any announcements on Ghana's grand development. Check out this text video on other impressive projects which is also happening right here in Ghana. Thank you and on to the next video. Be sure to check this next video out.